What's Mickey without Minnie? Or Piglet without Pooh? What's Donald without Daisy? That's me without you. When Ariel doesn't sing and Pooh hates honey, when Tigger stops bouncing and when Goofy isn't funny, when Peter Pan can't fly and Simba never roars, when Alice no longer fits through small doors, when Dumbo's ears are small and happily ever after isn't true, even then, I won't stop loving you. He's got a funny sense of humour, so funny, he makes me laugh all the time. Um, we have the same pop culture references, all the lightsabers and all the Harry Potter ones, we have tons of Harry Potter stuff and Star Wars. <laughs> His name is Stephen, he's a cabinet maker, and by the way, he has a couple of black belts. <laughs> I'm just cool going along with it. I think Steve's pretty nervous. <laughs> he's more nervous than I am. But it's a good nervous. Good nervous. Butterflies, but I'm excited as well. I'm very excited to spend my rest of the life with her. Very excited, so yeah. It's hard to describe. It's warm, fuzzy, um, joyful, um, knowing that she's always going to be there for me. The thing that stands out to me is the way she words things and her love of pop, pop culture as well, like Star Wars, everything like that. online um, coming up to five years ago now. First day was the movie out of Resident Evil. And then the day later I got a bunch of flowers from Steve to the house. It was so sweet. And then yeah, we started dating ever since. Just it stuck like glue. And yeah, best thing that's ever happened to me. Now when you think about the sheer number of people on dating apps these days, it seems like pure serendipity that these two are able to find each other in a sea of faces. That have lived a little bit further apart or picked up their phones at a different time, that we might not all have the pleasure of being here this afternoon, or they might have been aware of each other's existence. It's one of those sliding door moments in lives. <laughs> I did have planned out for, um, to do it in front of the fountain down at um, Victoria Point with my whole family. And her family and everything. Unfortunately, the fountain wasn't working that night, unfortunately, so I had to come up with a plan B, which was just take her by the lake and do it. So 
went down on one knee. I knew something was going on. Um, and yeah, we had dinner and then took me around the back and this afternoon now I am. And it was so sweet. And she, uh, she said yes, so that's the lucky part. And here we are today. To be honest, I may start crying. <laughs> um, and I'm not a man who cries. I do martial arts and all that, so I'm not a man who cries very often. Might get a bit teary. So she's, as I said, she's one person I've stuck, she's stuck by me, I've stuck by her. That's gonna be good. Um, I don't like crowds, so I'll be a bit scared then. Um, but no, I think it'll be good. Laura, I promise to you that I'll always be there for you in times of need and comfort, and comfort you when you are sad. Steve, I promise that you'll be as important to me as coffee, chocolate, or just glaze and any put together. I promise to always make you laugh even when I'm not trying hard. I promise that I will continue to speak about thing of the jigs, what's their faces and do the keys, but I can't remember the correct word for something. I promise to always be honest with you even when I'm hiding that new Lego set. <laughs> I put a let you do all the cooking and to always check only the pizza for cardboard for putting it in the oven. I promise to try not to criticise your cooking even though you can't cook pancakes. <laughs> I will always call you to kill the giant spiders and the cockroaches that can fly that lead to cute caterpillars for me to keep. I promise to always support all your endeavours in life, no matter if they're good or bad. I promise that I will go to football with you and try my hardest not to sneak in a book to read, even though I probably will. <laughs> I will try my best not to bring home a pet llama or a monkey that's checking with you. <laughs> <laughs> you are my best friend, my soulmate, my ratchet to my clank, my timon to my pumba, but most of all, you are my forever. And I'm about to be your spell checker, proofreader, and Facebook poster, and dare to love you even when you were skipping through as well if my clothes makes me crazy. <laughs> There's nothing quite like knowing you'll always have this person, your very own person to get you through the hard times, but also to share in the very best times of life. The feeling of security that from now on, you guys are gonna have someone on your side, right there by your side. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure to present to you for the very first time as a married couple, Stephen and Laura. Stephen, you may kiss your bride. Woo! <laughs> I've got a short list here, Steve. 
to keep Laura happy? Wi-Fi. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Stephen Alora. Let's go. <laughs>